Um, the two main solutions are Amista Chargeback, so it provides usage and cost management for enterprise. And the other solution is Amista Billing, and it's more for service provider willing to bring to market a public cloud offering. And we added recently another product named Amista Cloud Store, and I'll show you that uh, in, in a short demo. The idea was to provide a very easy way to provision VMs through uh, CloudStack UI in addition of the existing UI of CloudStack. I'm going to go relatively slow on the slides to have enough time for the demo. Uh, so far, I didn't see a lot of demos with CloudStack, so I will try to, to do some and uh, show some, uh, some nice uh, CloudStack UI uh, uh, this afternoon. So the feedback from enterprise uh, building private cloud is, I want to have visibility into uh, my infrastructure resources. Uh, I want cost control, optimization. I also want to be able uh, to collect a public cloud cost if I'm running an hybrid cloud. So that's exactly what we are doing with, with Amista Chargeback. Um, and we'll, you, you'll see that in, in, in the demo. Amista Cloud Store, so you have a few uh, screenshots here. Uh, as you can see, it's directly connected to uh, uh, CloudStack UI. Um, we uh, have possibilities to provision uh, server templates that are built into CloudStack. But also, more recently, we also added a desktop as a service to it. So you can also provision desktop. And, and we have one uh, customers using um, iPad uh, for some of these uh, consultants. And sometimes they provision uh, Windows desktop through uh, Amista Cloud Store, uh, in addition of provisioning uh, sometimes servers or other kind of services. So the key features of uh, uh, Amista Chargeback. So we have a, a metering connectors for CloudStack and now also for, for OpenStack uh, for, from the private cloud part and also connector for the public uh, cloud. Uh, we currently have Amazon and we are developing other connectors for other public clouds. The cost management engine where you rate CloudStack resources and I'll show you that in the demo. The usage management part where you can display uh, pie chart tables with a lot of details regarding uh, your cloud stack uh, usage. Reporting, uh, invoicing, billing. Uh, uh, on, I'll show you that you can export in, uh, in CSV or, or in PDF. And on top of this uh, sits uh, uh, Amista Cloud Store. For service providers, product is very similar, uh, except we add uh, two main components. One uh, is the enrollment part. And I think it's more visible on this slide. So uh, we have a self-registration uh, workflow. Uh, and we can directly create the CloudStack account from there. It's this part here. And the additional module compared to Amista Chargeback is the payment gateway here and uh, for credit card payments. So if we uh, look briefly at the self-registration, because this part won't be in the demo, uh, so there's just two slides on this, and after we'll switch to, to the demo. Um, so you have a first phase where uh, you... Uh, Prospect is filling out uh, uh, just name and email. Then he receives an email and can uh, access to uh, the other uh, part of the, of the workflow, uh, create its CloudStack uh, user account, and also uh, create its password. And then you have uh, all the billing information and the credit card information. Then the user has everything to access to CloudStack UI and start to consume services.
Another slide before, uh, before the demo is where we integrate with, with Cloud Stack. So in fact, we uh, require two virtual machines, uh, one for the web app, one for uh, the core. And then we, we pull a Cloud Stack usage uh, uh, server, and you define, let's say, the, uh, the pool. It could be from 10 minutes to, uh, to 24 hours. So let's switch to, um, to the demo. Um, start with the, the dashboard. So when you, you log into CloudStack, here we are logged as a domain admin. So as you, you may know with CloudStack, so you have the accounts. The accounts uh, sit in a domain. And, and each domain can have uh, several domain admins. And you're after another level, which is a root admin, where you can see all all the domain of the cloud. So here we are uh, at one domain named RND here. So the thing you, you can see, it's you uh, running VM revenue uh, months to date. So it's, it's a demo cloud, so there's not a lot of revenue. And uh, the stop VMs, storage on the total year. Um, this gauge here is just to uh, base on um, the budget or the, the target you have for revenue for this particular domain. The way we, we developed Amista billing, it's uh, for a cloud service provider also willing to have resellers. So you can have a, a price, uh, pricing model per domain or subdomains. So each reseller can, can really manage its own cloud with our solution. Um, here you have your top consumer. Uh, in this uh, reselling domain, uh, um, uh, a breakdown between the different consumers. On here, uh, daily consumption in blue, uh, that uh, the uh, accumulated accounts. And in uh, orange, it's accumulated uh, projects. Uh, we also uh, manage cloud stack projects with our solution. On here, you have a monthly view for this uh, domain. Uh, I think uh, uh, an entire year of, of usage uh, on, this, uh, on this dashboard. And if you want to uh, drill down into um, the accounts, so the distribution of accounts, you can, you can do that very easily. You can have your uh, revenue per account here on the total uh, revenue months to date here. You can go back to the previous months if you want to see what was the status for the previous months uh, very easily, and you can also say, okay, I see here a guy named Jake Clark. Uh, seems to be a very good customer of this cloud, so let's uh, look a little bit more in depth at uh, what is consumed by this particular user. So you can apply a, a, a filter. You can uh, see a very nice uh, Pac-Man here where uh, he is consuming mostly storage, and on, on we have um, a breakdown between network, running VMs, stop VMs, storage, and templates. It's very aligned with uh, CloudStack uh, way of uh, presenting uh, uh, resources. And after you can uh, go more uh, in, in, in depth into uh, what is used. Here is that's all the templates that uh, we are used for this particular accounts, which availability zones was used to provision the templates here. Consumption time, unit price amounts. And after more and more details on the running VMs, what is the name of the VMs that you, you, you are running here, you need price, uh, stop VM, et cetera, et cetera. I won't uh, detail all of this. And on the storage part, we, uh, you have information regarding the snapshot, regarding all the tier of storage, um, also the, the root volumes. We have uh, similar things for projects. So here you have the uh, consumption distribution between three projects. Uh, well, there's, yeah, there's, there's few projects. It's exactly the same kind of information, but for project. Um, here that's how we rate information. So it's relatively simple. So you, you have a, a pricing that's very aligned with what uh, Amazon is doing. So it's, it's per hour. Um, and depending on the resource, it's... Uh, dollar per hour, it could be uh, for storage, uh, giga per hour. Uh, and the thing is, with Amista, we pull 
all existing service offerings. So uh, as soon as you create a new service offering within Amista, we collect this service offering, and you just need to write this new service offering. So it's very easy to do. And here, the service offering names are related to different uh, uh, colors. Uh, it's very used for, uh, uh, to define the different service offering with gold, copper, bronze, etc. Uh, most of service uh, providers we are working with are also charging for stop VMs. Uh, stop VMs are using resources uh, such as uh, virtual routers, for example, with cloud stack. So um, it, it's good to, to charge for stop VMs. For enterprise cloud, you also charge for stop VMs because uh, if a particular user is stopping a VM, maybe it's, there's a good reason for it, but sometimes it's just it's too lazy to really decommission the VM, so he's, he's keeping it. So uh, it could be good to decommission. So uh, it, it goes to have an incentive to decommission VMs in an in a enterprise cloud. I didn't have the question yet, but uh, I anticipate this question. With, cl with uh, CloudStack 4.3, there's dynamic service offering where you can uh, have um, a custom number of vCPU or custom number of, of RAM. So it will be uh, supported extremely soon uh, with uh, Amista. We already support 4.2.1, uh, 4.3 is on its way. So you will uh, have a possibility to price CPU uh, individually on, on RAM individually. Thing here, uh, but yes, it's just one subdomain. But if, if we were at the root level, you can navigate into all your domains, and we manage pricing inheritance. So you can define price once, and after you, you'll, you'll be able to have the same price on the subdomains. If you want to have a different pricing policy in one subdomain, then uh, it will keep this modification in this particular subdomain. Uh, as a domain admin, I can look at all the invoice of all my uh, customers. So it's very easy to do. You, you have all the accounts of your domain here. And you directly have access to all your uh, invoices here. So um, very easy. And you have access to an invoice. This is a basic template can be customized uh, with a service provider uh, logos on, on look and feel. Same for enterprise cloud, of course. Uh, we uh, are also managing uh, taxes. Uh, including some complex tax system uh, such as we can find, for example, in Canada. Um, and you uh, can add uh, all legal information into, into your invoice. Then we have a reporting engine where uh, you can uh, generate several kind of reports uh, within your domain. If you are a root admin, you can generate reports for the entire cloud including all domains, all subdomains. And just to give you a little uh, idea of, uh, of, uh, of a report, you can uh, span the reports across months. If, if you want to do that, it's very, very easy to, to do. Um, and you have this kind of, of, of reports here uh, with a description on the cost of the revenue per, per user. And of course, uh, if you want to integrate this with a an ERP, if you are in the context of an enterprise cloud, or with a, another billing system uh, for a cloud service provider, we manage CSV. Uh, so and we, we manage CSV on a monthly basis. OK, nothing spe spectacular in, in displaying a CSV. Sorry about that, but uh, it's the way it is. And, but you can also uh, manage on a daily basis. And this is. Uh, very useful for service providers because um, if you have a discussion on an invoice, sometimes uh, due to the elasticity of the cloud, they provision a lot of VMs at the beginning of the month and they commission all of them and they don't understand why at the end of the month they have such a, a, a big invoice. Uh, so it's very easy to, uh, to, to go back to, to that and say, okay, uh, you know, in the beginning of the month, I can generate the uh, the report for that, and, and, and you, you have uh, 
It's just uh, so f few days of, of, uh, of usage, it's immediately a lot of uh, things uh, uh, within Cloud Stack. We have pages of, of usage here. A few other things here uh, in our product, it's, it's a configuration. So um, we developed the product in a context of international cloud, so we manage all uh, existing currencies. Um, so if you have a service provider with resellers in different uh, locations, we can manage that with our system. Um, on I, the version I'm showing here, it's Amista billing. Uh, when we are using uh, Amista chargeback for enterprise clouds, you also have possibility to convert uh, Amazon cost into your own currency because Amazon charge in USD uh, to my uh, information everywhere in the world in, in US dollar. So if you want to have a pie chart of reports in the same currency, we have a conver conversion engine in, in our software. A um, few other things here, uh, tenant management. It's where uh, you manage your uh, you, you, you tenants, billing information, uh, tax information, etc. Okay, so that was um, the admin view. Now I'd like to show you uh, briefly uh, the user view, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, we are fully integrated within Cloud Platform UI. So I'm going to use the account that you saw in the, in the demo, uh, the username uh, Jay Clark. Uh, Clark J. And the domain we are using here is a domain R&D. It's a Cloud Platform. It's working as well as, as, as Cloud Stack. It's just our demo platform is in Cloud Platform. Um, so here you have uh, the dashboard you are used to see. But, uh, uh, and when you, when you click on the, on the Amista billing, it's going to take a few, few seconds here because uh, um, of, of the bandwidth here. And so you have your own usage. We already saw this Pac-Man previously. You can also uh, look more in depth at your own, uh, do some analytics on what you are using. For example, here I have my uh, consumption distribution, um, the different VMs, and, uh, and the cost associated to, to uh, these VMs here. You can do the same for, uh, for your stop VM. So you can play a little bit with your own usage here. That's, uh, that's the goal. Uh, if, you are, if you belong to projects, you, you can access to, to projects. So here, this, this guy is belonging to two uh, cloud stack projects. And on, you can access to the price list. It's a read-only, of course, here. And you can, you can see how much it costs when you provision instance just here. The idea uh, was to have everything at the same place. And uh, leveraging also all the effort of cloud stack community to provide a, a nice uh, interface. So that's why we decided to, to integrate directly into it. And so you can access to, uh, to your invoice here. So I'm not going to display the same invoice I displayed previously, but there's one more thing here. You can access to your payments. And um, we uh, have the credit card information also at the same place here. So uh, you can uh, display your credit card, just the last digit, of course. And you can also uh, uh, see uh, your, the reference of your, of your latest payments here. And you can also update directly uh, your credit cards. It's just super easy to, uh, to manage. It's, uh, Everything at the same place here. No, it's stored on a payment processor, which is Braintree. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, one last thing. I don't know how long. Uh, I think I, I'm still. I'm still. Okay, five minutes. So uh, it's related to to cloud store. Uh, so to to show you this product, I need to go to another. Uh, demo platform, which is, uh, is it this one? Which is this one. Um, so because to, to create the VM, I have to, 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 to have an access to, to my lab here. Um, so the idea is to, it was to do something extremely simple. It's not as powerful as some solution that are more into the path uh, where you can uh, add configuration management. So we we, we didn't want to do that. In fact, we, we built this uh, because a lot of our uh, Amista customers said, I'm, I, I lack uh, 
Of course, what I have, uh, on, okay, I have a session next part, so it's this live demo, so it's normal. It's gonna take a few seconds to um, download a CloudStack uh, uh, box uh, for the credentials. Um, so we, we decided to, uh, to, to build Cloud Store in order to have an alternative or a second possibility to provision new VMs. So let me log here. So I was here, okay. Um, so yeah, you have all your all your all your VMs, and as as you, I guess all know, but maybe no, because I didn't see that many demo of of CloudStack today. So you you all know that to provision CloudStack, you have this this nice workflow here. So I'm not going to use it. The idea was to say to maybe say, this one is for advanced users. They know what kind of service offering you need to use. They know what kind of uh, uh, networks uh, they need to use, etc., etc. So Cloud Store purpose is to say, you have also uh, people um, in an enterprise, and this could be used for service provider as well, but it, it's more targeted towards enterprise. Could be good to have a, a, a one-click um, provisioning uh, tool where you uh, have a, a quick description of, of what you will provision an estimated monthly cost, because the, the beauty of, of this is connected to the rest of Amista. So you, you have uh, the cost management that is uh, linked to that. And the other things, you just need to, uh, to add uh, a name to it. So this one is my uh, wiki, uh, USA, or we can say Denver to be more. Denver, uh, I don't know, 23. So after everything is connected to, to cloud stacks, so something very, very basic. Yeah? Uh, so you, you, it's part of the notification. It's currently uh, uh, really launching uh, uh, the virtual machine. So it will take three minutes maybe because um, uh, we will uh, launch the VM and have to wait for the boot of the VM. And then you will receive a pop-up with a link so you can directly connect to this machine. It could be a link, could be a SSH credential, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's, this is, can be conf, uh, configurable. So uh, while it's launching the VM and giving, and giving me also uh, a pop-up with a link, I will uh, take a few questions. Yes. Oh no, we have our own UI as well. So no, you you can. Yes, you can. So regarding the API, we will have an API for all chargeback and billing features. It's not planned for the cloud store yet, but it will probably follow. Well, it's, it's like a text, uh, you know, mod. It's, it's relatively easy to create. Uh, it's pretty basic uh, to create that, so, yeah. yeah. We've, we've Yeah, it's, yeah. We, we are not currently connecting with configuration management. Uh, we, you know, maybe we'll do by ourselves. Maybe we'll also uh, establish partnership with some companies that are really specialists in that. We, we saw very nice uh, uh, demos lately on a past solution. And, and maybe it could connect with, with our uh, uh, cloud store and also with our metering and billing backend. Uh, I, I think that's what's missing most of the time to... Uh, to the cloud stores that you can see out there. So it's perfect to the end, uh, Riven. So sure. uh, just uh, click on it, and you have your uh, media wiki that is uh, ready to, to be used. So in, in two seconds, what's the elevator pitch? Because we've seen another competitor just before you mm -hmm. come up with 
show something similar. And we, we also saw earlier before that sort of the API integration points. And there's a variety of companies in the space doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. What is your key difference? Well, I think on, on the cost management, the key difference, we are managing all cloud stack domain subdomains. So when you have a large corporation, they have a lot of uh, department, business units, line of businesses on an international level. With our product, you can manage that very well because we manage all the currency. You can have different pricing models for the different departments, and you can have statements that are really related to the specific line of business. So that for the cost part, for the enterprise part. On the revenue management part, so for service providers, I think our specificity is to really be the product was designed for cloud stack. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you're, you're one of the first to. Yeah, to uh, absolutely. We, we started very early on. Uh, it, it, it was cloud.com. And um, so we, we have a solution that is very easy to install, to set up, to maintain. So, there's a lot of uh, hosting providers out there. I think there's about 350,000 hosting providers in the world that are slowly moving towards cloud service provider businesses. They don't have time to spend months into the integration of a billing system. Our solution, out of the box, few days, it's up and running. Great. So does anybody have any more questions? I think this has uh, been interesting. It's really integrated, that's for sure. So uh, th thank you again for giving us the opportunity to see your, you. your product. Thank you. Thank and you.